Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about two of the releases that came out last Friday from Pink Punch Studio. They are so cool. So the first one is this camera kit. You get a couple of cameras, some picture frames, and then all these awesome photo frames to play with, as well as all of these different words. So um, you can make some super cute scrapbooking spreads with these. Personally, I haven't done anything with these this kit yet myself, but I have seen some really cute stuff in the Facebook group. So let's just quickly, here we go. Let's turn my Wi-Fi back on for a sec and we'll look at the Facebook group um, for some of the spreads other people have made that caught my eye. Here's one Randy did. She's got the little flowers in the photo frame. There's two specific ones that I'm looking for. Let's see if we can find them. Here, Mandy, this is one of them. She's been doing some really cute spreads. Um, these are subjects for her daughter's school, one in each little square with a little decor sticker to accent it. Um, she also did a cute weekly like that. Oh, here's one Heidi made using a Paris kit and the camera. It looks so cute, a perfect travel spread. We can't travel for real, so we can travel for planning. <laughs> Digital planning, we can imagine that we're traveling. Um, oh, here's one of the ones I was thinking of. Lisa made this really cute spread with the camera and the little frame. The colors look great. I love how she used the black lamp and the black plant pots. Super nice spread. And then here's the one I was thinking of for Mandy. So she's made put on a really pretty background and then she's put white behind the, the frames and then put an image inside each one and set up a weekly five days, the five weekdays. So there's some really cute ideas what you can do. I'm just going to turn my Wi-Fi back off so we don't get interrupted. So there's some really cute ideas for this kind of scrapbook kit. Um, I can't wait to start playing with it. I'd like to actually do something fun that I'd have a reason to scrapbook it. And soon enough, hopefully we will all be vaccinated and be able to go back to the old normal instead of this new normal. The other new kit um, are, is a book collection which is the one I'm really excited for and we're going to play with a little bit today. So you get a top view or front view of the cover, a spine, and a side view of the pages. There's bookmarks and this super cute library card. I think the library card is probably my favorite part. Um, it comes in the different palettes. I chose muted because the muted palette is my favorite and right away I thought I would probably use this collection in my reading journal that I started this year. So let's use it in my reading journal. Um, hang on, let's go look. So what I did, this was my January page and I kind of tracked everything I read. Actually, I don't read any books. I listen to audiobooks pretty much nonstop all the time. Um, so for 2021, I thought I'd actually track them and see how many I read and what I read and how much time I am listening. And like some days, like 14 hours in one day, I had Audible playing. I do it, I listen to it while I'm planning, I listen to it while I'm working, it's always playing. So I have not, oops, I have not done my summary page for February because I read 19 books in February after I finished the um, Spellmonger series which are kind of longer books. I switched over to reading the Sookie Stackhouse series, which are very short books. And a lot of cases I read one book in a day. And so I just totally fell behind tracking everything. It's when I'm reading the shorter books, it's, it's not even fun to make a spread for each day. 
So I need a different way. It's a little bit easier to keep track of what I've read because I was doing like this whole page with a review and what I loved and decorating it, making it super cute. And then when I got into the vampire books, it was all I could do just to post a picture and my start and end date. So let's set this up, my vision. So first I'm going to make sure all my toggles are turned on and I want all of the book spines. So let's copy this whole bit over. I'm gonna do a little rotate here and let's get rid of the stuff I don't need. There we go. So now we can stack these all up. Hmm. They do have shadows, so I wanna make sure that I have with the layering. I want the top layer to go below. Otherwise the shadows won't look realistic. <clears throat> See how that shadow went on top? So we'll just put this book up here. you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm, want, I'm being careful when I stack them. So see this shadow went on top. So I'm going to put this book up here just to keep it. Oh, hang on. I'm being backwards. I don't know what I'm doing now. So I'm just trying to line up my shadows so they make sense. This would have been easier if I pasted them in order from when I moved them into GoodNotes instead of bringing them all together. I'm just going to take this whole batch, do a cut paste. Okay, so I read 19 books and I want kind of like a title book. So I'm going to copy that again since there's 10 books already. And let's just move these around a little so it doesn't look like an exact replica of the bottom half of the stack. There we go. So now we have a stack of books. And I'm just going to stretch it so it fills this whole page. top to bottom. That is my vision. So now we will use a font. This is February, which I did not spell right, but it fixed it. There we go. Let's turn the images off. Oh, it didn't fix it. February. There we go. And then I'm just going to write 
down. So my first book is Thaumatage by Terry Mankar. So let's go. Thaumatage. Oops, that color. We want to size it. We're just going to make it look like a proper book. And then I'm going to put my rating here. So there's a bunch of different places you can find rating stickers. There is Digital Siren has a set of stars. Um, the Bigger Kits from Oso oh Whimsies has some really good five star rating stickers. Shadow Cat Digitals put out a reading kit a few months ago, two months ago, um, that has some rating stars, some different versions. So there's a few places you can get them. I've got to find one that I want to use and then I'm going to put my rating here. And that's all I'm going to do on this page for these books. Um, I'm, so I'm going to go through and just list all the books I read in February. Now I want to make this page a little bit prettier as well and use some of the other stickers in this kit. Oops, I need to turn my images back on. So I'm going to grab the, a book here and paste it down. And now I want this layer on top. So I'm going to do a cut and then let's position this one. I love how realistic these books look. Okay, so now I'm going to paste my little hours tracker back down. Let's grab a bookmark, put it in this space here. When you're lining up the bookmark, you want that point to kind of be at the top of your book so it looks like it's kind of folded over the, the cover. You can just line it up just right. And just make it a little shorter. Okay, now let's grab a, another one here. I grab this spine. And paste it down and then same thing. I'm gonna grab this little bit here and cut. And I'm going to rotate this. I want the shadow on the bottom so it kind of matches this shadow here. And we'll paste that on top. And now my summary page for February is pretty cute. So I'm going to do a little bit of decorating on the side. I haven't decided what stickers I want to decorate with yet. And I just need to fill in my covers. I'll share the finished page, but you guys don't need to watch me type out a whole bunch of um, titles. So now I want to change up how I do my daily pages. Because honestly, I wasn't getting a lot of enjoyment out of writing a little mini book review for every book, especially when I was reading a book a day in February when I was doing the shorter books. So I think what I want to do instead is just do a one page per book and I'm going to use that adorable library card. So let's paste that down and make it nice and big. And then we'll fill in the library card. So I'm going to take all of this and do a cut and a paste. So now these layers are above the library card layer. So when I grab them and bring them over, they're not going to go underneath. So I'll just resize this. Date loaned is my start date. Oops. Let's turn images off and date returned is the date I finished reading. The author is Deborah with an H. Deborah Harkness. There we go. 
title is A Discovery of Witches. I started watching this TV series last month, I think, and it is fantastic. And then I realized there is a book. The series is written based on a book. So naturally, I had to start reading the books because there are five, six books, I think, which goes a lot further into the story than the two seasons of the TV show do. There we go. So now I have a nice, simple spread. It'll be a lot easier to keep up with this for the whole year. Um, if you try to do something a bit too ambitious, generally you end up um, not finishing it for the year. So if I wanna maintain keeping track all year, I need to keep it nice and simple. And I think this book collection kit from Pink Punch Studios is gonna let me do that because I can just use these little library cards and the spines and I can make a super cute spread really quick. So there we go. So I'll do this for each book. And then this will be my monthly summary. And of course I'll, I'll decorate the sides up a little bit. I feel like this isn't centered. Better? I don't know. Anyway, so I'll decorate up the sides and I'm going to fill in all my authors. Um, I think this will be a fun way to keep track of everything. And the book collection comes with different palettes. Um, this one I think matches the journal that I'm using the best. But I might pick one of the other kits as well just to kind of brighten up some of the pages. So there you go. I hope you liked playing with the new releases from Pink Punch Studios with me today. If you have any questions, please send me a message. Let me know. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please, same thing. Let me know. I love to hear suggestions. Um, what else? I will include the links to the kits that I used in the description of this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and all that good stuff. I um, think that's it. So... Have a great day. I will see you on Sunday with a plan with me video. I don't know who with yet. So if you have any suggestions for that, you can let me know too. And um, I think that's it. So take care, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.